Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, brother. You, to you too, as well. Very good. What about Silvana? What are your New Year's resolution? Resolution. Um, survive. <laughs> survive. I honestly consider it valid. Invalid. Valid. Valid. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's nice. why I said it. <laughs> That's well, okay. um, I think that maybe the <clears throat> it's almost the same as Isaac. This year I learned that if you don't have you are you are not healthy in many ways, like physical but also mental. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be super um difficult to do well the rest of the things in your life. So uh, yes, yes. that's my how do you say my resolution <laughs> resolution yes uh -huh. yeah my resolution for this year to be healthier in all the aspects aspects is it is it correct i wasn't pretty sure that it yeah, does okay. exist <laughs> Yes, it does. It does. You can say in very in every aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not all bad. Very good. I am very proud to hear that. It's very important to, to, and also you know what? Like you cannot reach physical health if you don't have mind health first. So yeah, they go hand in hand. If you go to therapy and everything, it it should be a good idea to also to have a, a, a good diet together with it. You know. It's a it's a balance of everything, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Good job, Milady. Good, good job. So let's go with Jessica Solis. What is what's your New Year's resolution? Um, I spent less money in things that I don't need. I am with you. <laughs> oh yes. Did you did twenty twenty three give you a lesson on that? Not really, but for example, I have a lot of uh clothes. Um, mm. I don't need, I really, I really, I guess really, I don't need a mm. lot of clothes. And in focus on on clothes because I I used to to buy a lot. Of... A lot, yes. In that case. Totally agree with you. Definitely. And shoes. Yes, I, I, I don't need more. Mm -hmm. Probably uh, important, uh, probably for special events, that's very good. But but yes, we don't go to special events so often. No, so that's, that's a good decision you're taking. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good job, milady. And Chris, what is your New Year's resolution? Hi, teacher. Hi, yes. everyone. Uh, my new year resolution is live new experiences. To what? To live new experiences. Oh, live, not life. To live. Oh, uh, live. All right. Like what? Like what? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like living abroad. Oh wow! Oh, that would be interesting. What cities are catching your attention? I don't know. It's a difficult decision, but mm -hmm. I am thinking on it. Okay. Well, I hope you you decide soon, and you can actually accomplish that, because. All the friends that I know that have done, have started the adventure, they never want to come back. And that's a good sign, a very, very good sign. I really hope you do that. Thank you, mm -hmm. teacher. Good job, Chris. Very, very nice. Well, guys, this is it. I am very happy to hear your, your motivation for this year. You sound positive. You sound... Uh, with with dreams so i hope uh, the rest of the things don't don't close 
that hope. Okay, keep on you keep yourself strong on that one. So what we're gonna do for the first uh set of advanced training is what I have been promising you during uh previous months, which is finally checking up on the pronunciation of th some things to improve the way you speak in order to improve the way you understand, right? The reason we have problems with comprehension is precisely that we don't pronounce correctly. And the reason we don't read, for example, and we don't have a good, a good reading is precisely pronunciation. So pronunciation affects two things, affects the way you read and affects the way you understand words. You will not memorize words correctly if you pronounce incorrectly. It's a very interesting uh, ability that you need to master in order to understand. Listening and reading comes to pronunciation. It, there's always like that. Um, eventually, you will see that that affects also uh, speaking. No, right now you have a very good speaking, but sometimes we are not paying attention on the on the, on the pronunciation of things, and that's the reason you we sound a little bit strange. It's not, um, it's not impossible to reach a, a native language, a native level, but at least a good um, intonation and, and good good ways to to pronounce a word in order to to memorize it, right? So this month will be all about reading correctly, pronouncing correctly, and getting to associate all the words that you should be. Uh, pronouncing correctly in order to start uh, making more complex uh, sentences. Okay, so your fluency and your complex sentences will depend on pronunciation. And for that, I prepared a presentation to you. Let's watch it all together because we are going to pronounce words the way they are supposed to be. Welcome everybody for intermediates and advanced. Okay. So question. How many vowels are there in our language? Five. Good. Five. Perfect. 5i. That's correct. And how many vowels exist in the sound of English? No idea. Many. Next. We yes. can say more than five. Yes, least. of course. Right? That's the issue. So the symbols that you see on the bottom of every single word that you have in front are a demonstration of how words sound in English. The thing and the thing you need to start understanding is to find a pattern of, uh, of repetition that occurs in the language. This has a very close connection to the pronunciation of verbs in past, for example, regular verbs, verbs that end in ed. If you have problems with that, then you will have problems with this. I really strongly recommend that you study both so you can start analyzing words by sound, not by alphabet, okay? So the thing that we are gonna do is to pronounce these words together and then we're gonna see the patterns that exist, okay? Let's start with the first row, the letter A. On the letter A, we have pay, about, man, and all. This is a demonstration of how the letter A can change. Let's go to the word pay and let's pronounce it together. Everybody. Pay. Pay. Good. Thank you, yes. Again, Grace, I didn't hear you. Pay. Good. Silvana and, and Isaac. Pay. 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 Pay.
A. Well, oh, sorry. There you are. Uh, yeah, sorry. I had some troubles with the uh, okay with the no microphone. Problem. Anyway, what's the pronunciation? P. A. 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 P. A. Correct. P. And Silvana. P. Good. So as you can see, the vowel sound that we are going to uh, start checking is the the vowel center of it let me open the soundboard on youtube so we can try it together right here mm, a a a a as you can see and as you can hear this a is established together right and it's very important that you see the difference between this a and this f for example eh. they are not the same they have a similar color but we need to identify them as different sounds this is what we call a diphthong a diphthong is a combination of two sounds in one, but it's an independent sound, okay? That is important because we need to identify syllables and it will help you identify where a syllable starts, where a syllable ends. Everything thanks to the dictionary. That More of that later, right? In this moment, let's continue with the next one, the schwa sound. The schwa sound, which is this. Uh, no, not the other one. Uh, no, not that one, not that one, wait. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, this one. Uh, Everybody, uh. Could you repeat? The okay. Uh. 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 Nice. Uh. Okay. Silvana. Good, Jesse. Uh. Good, Chris. Uh. Good, perfect. Uh. The thing about this and in this very important sound is called the schwa sound, which makes a definition on how words are stressed. How words are stressed. Let's talk about this. In the word uh, about, for example, you will see this symbol that is like a, a, like a small a, Let's call it an apostrophe. This apostrophe, oops, this apostrophe indicates the stress, the stressed syllable in a word. This is a very interesting word because you will see the schwa sound in the same word right before the apostrophe. This is because the schwa sound 
gives the anti-stress. What is the anti-stress? The sea level that is not strong. This means that if you divide the sentence in two sea levels, for example, this is sea level number one, and this is sea level number two, sea level number one Level number one is the weak one. And see level number two is the strong one. So then, with these symbols, you can understand that the word should be pronounced about. Not about, but a. Show us sound. About. Everybody, about. About. Oh, not a. About. 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 About, 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 uh-huh. About, okay, about. Good. Now, Sylvie? About. about. Good. Jesse? About. Good. Christian? About. Mm -hmm. Oh, about. About. Good, exactly. About. That's super important because Many, many people pronounce the word like about and then automatically you can hear a difference, right? That happens a lot when you are talking with the word the, for example. Many people pronounce this as the, the, the carro, the iPhone, the, the, the taco. When the word should sound the, the. You see? Everybody pronounce it. The. 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 Okay. That's right. Pronounce it Jesse. Da. Pronounce it Christian. Da. Good. These are common mistakes with the Schwan sound. Da. The word about. The word education. Let's look at the word education. Edu. Edu. Education. Look at how in the dictionary you don't even have a symbol over here. When many people say shun, this is also considered. A schwa, a syllable that should not sound. So everybody, pronunciation, education, edu, education. Education, education. Edu, ju, 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 strong ju. Education, education. 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 Good. Education. 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 Okay. That's the one. Perfect. Education. Another one. Another word, for example, is a word. Mm, 
another one. I have no, no idea right now. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Function words, such as preposition. For example, this word. People all the time pronounce to. For example, they say have to, have to, have to, or going to, or I have to, or I play to, or all the all the words that you connect with to. It's not necessary always to connect connected with two. You can also say t. T. Okay. So how do you say, for example, uh, um, I have to study English. People would say, I have to study, to study. I have to study. Come on, everybody. I have to study. I have to study. Good. I have to study. Good. Study, not study. 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 I have, have to, to have... study. Good. Okay. Do you see? I have to study. Mm -hmm. It's not two. To. Have to. I have to. I sorry. I have to study. Open more. Open more. To. I have to. The. Ta, 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 ta. I have the story. Good. Now connect it. Ta study. Ta study. The story. I have the story. Good. Now this not study. Sta. Study. Study. That's correct. Mm -hmm. I have to study. Christian, I have to study. I have to study. Mm -hmm. Connect it together. Have to. Have to study. I have to study. Mm -hmm. I gotta read. I have to read. I have to study. Yeah, I have to read, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You see, that good pronunciation will give you fluency. That's the reason it's super important to say. Even in the dictionary, if you look for the word "have to." You are going to get have to. Have to. Not have to, you see? Which is very important how even educationally, it's better to pronounce it correctly instead of pronouncing it bad. If you have bad habits on pronunciation, it will be very difficult to eliminate those habits later. That's a word. Next one. Quick sample. How would you accentuate this word? Transition. Assemble. Yes, Isaac, again. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice that Silvana opened the microphone. <laughs> September. September. Exactly. September. Where is it, the strong syllable? Um, the second. Is mm -hmm. it the second one? September. The second Sept one is from September. Yeah, September. Good. And it's not bear. September. Bear. Bur. 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 September. 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 This is the second sound that September. exists. Okay. The second schwa is with a rotic sound. Ur. The schwa. So the show is, uh, 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 
September. September. Correct. Transition, Silvana. September. Good. Jesse. September. I'm sorry. September. It's not bear. Again, yes. Sep September. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Christian. September. Burr. September. Good, excellent. September. Can you? Can you bear from bear to burr? Mm -hmm. It happens also with the word. Let's go now to the to the difficult one. Look at this. Look at the schwa sound. How it can exist in all the different vowels, not necessarily in the in the letter A or the letter E. It can also exist as a letter I, as a letter U. In a moment, I'm going to show you. For example, the word family. Fam. Fam. Everybody pronounce it. Family. Family. Good. Good pronunciation, Isaac. Savannah? Family. Good. Family. Family. Mm -hmm. Fama, no. Family. No. <clears throat> Family. Family. Good. Because you need to, you need to, to decorate your A. Fair. Fair. Family. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know it sounds strange, but for an American person, it's very normal. Guess it. Family. Fam family? Mm -hmm. Very solid. Fair. Fair. You need to, to extend your air. It's like this. Where is it? Hmm. I don't know where is it. It's supposed to be here. Here we go. Yeah. Fair. Family. Fair. Family. Perfect. Now the second is not a normal ah. It's a schwa sound. Fambo. 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 Family. Good. Family. 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 Yes. And probably you think, well, I am thinking in the letter O. Yes. That is supposed to be. You need to start recognizing sounds instead of alphabet. Okay. Okay. So that's good. If you're thinking of a letter O, take it. With, with practice and perfection, you need to start adapting to the new sounds. Okay. Christian, transition. Family. Family. Good. Family. Mm -hmm. And it's not fama, eh? Can you repeat, man? Family. 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 No ma. No ma. Ma. Family. Family. That's it. Family. Fama, fama, no fama. You see, small details that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. Letter U and letter O also take the A. Uh. For example, in the word octa, octopus. Octopus. You can see that it's not the letter O. It's a schwa sound. 
everywhere pronunciation. Octopus. 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 Good. Okay. Jesse. Octopus. 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 Christian. Octopus. Mm -hmm. Octopus. Etc. And finally, in a word, let me, I don't remember if it's in this one. I know this is A. We need to go to this one where you can see, I know this is using letter E. So forget about it. Those are common mistakes that we need to start studying. You see? The schwa sound is one of the first things that you need to start understanding. After that, now pay attention to other words that are commonly mistakenly pronounced. For example, For example, just a second, I'm taking out a list. Okay, look at these words. Well, you, let's give a moment to Jesse because she's in the chat. Hello, yes. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed your holidays. So, let's mm -hmm. do it. And I will take attendance, please. Miss here. Jesse, hello, Jesse. Good night. Hello, good night. Thank you, Jesse. Hey, Christian, hello, Christian. Good night. Hello. Good Thank night. you, Christian. And um, Sil, hello, Sil. Good night. Hello, Jesse. Good night. Good night, Sil. And are you there? Uh, yes, uh, I'm. Yes. <laughs> he, he, she forgot your name. <laughs> uh, yes. Sorry. Isaac. Isaac. <laughs> what happened? Oh my God. <laughs> sorry, Happy Isaac. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so have a good night and sorry for uh, sending you the, the wrong link. Uh, no worries. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about well, that. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. And thank you, you sorry. too. <laughs> <laughs> thank <you>. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay. Let's read this section. Help me, um, Christian, read the first point. Chris, are you there? Yes. Th things to consider different, 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 yeah. differentiating. Differentiating the mm -hmm. and the. Spanish has a single sound for this letter, so distinguish them is in English can be challenging. Example, by versus by, but versus hmm. but. That's gonna be a challenge. What's the difference? Okay, let's go first with the word by. By. Of course, the word that you pronounce in this moment was this one. Bye. You have no problems with that one. What I can see is that we have issues 
with the other sound, which is this one. Okay. In order to pronounce by, you need to bite your lips like like her. Look at how she is biting her under lip to pronounce it. Bye. Bye. Bye again. Bye. Yes. Bye. I That's that the that difference that between that one. There is a difference in the vibration, no? The mm -hmm. vibration. Correct. Yeah. There's vibration. no vibration in the first one. Yeah. And there is in the second one. Mm -hmm. The first one is explosive with your lips. Buh. Bye. Bye. The second one is it's vibrating with your under lip. Bye. Bye. So pronounce, for example, Batman versus that. That. Like the, the text. Like the like the what? The text. Ba value value added tax. <laughs> ah, value added tax, for example. Value. Value. Mm -hmm. Value. Everybody. Value. 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 <laughs> value. Good. Value. Good, Silvana. Yes. Value. Mm -mm. With your lips, no. With the teeth. Value, va. Value. Yes, that's the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Value. Right. And Chris, value. Value. Correct. Let's go back to the last one. Bath. B -b 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 -b. Bath. Everybody, bath. Bath. Easy. But. Okay. Yes, him. But. Mm -hmm. Chris. But. Easy. But then what happens when you go to this one? But. 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 Good, Silvana. Good. Yes, he. Um, bat. V -v 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 bite your lip. V -v bat. With my lip? Yes, bat. Bat. Exactly, with your lip. And it's very clear, eh? The difference on pronunciation is super clear to to, to hear. So that's correct. Chris? Bat. Easy. Easy piece. There we go. Similar things happen with other words. So what we're going to study is the rest of the points with different words. And let's see how much we can perfect our pronunciation for the next reading. During the next week and the final, at the end of the week, this week, we're going to start reading with perfect pronunciation and perfect intonation. Do you have any questions? No. No teacher. Fantastic. No. So give me this week because I didn't check your exams. I was honestly needing to get away from the computer. So now that I have to be here, I'm going to finish your exams and I'm going to pass you your results. Meanwhile, enjoy your training. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Have a See wonderful you. night. See you tomorrow. We have to see each other for the... How do you say Rosca de Reyes? Oh, the that, that doesn't exist in, uh, in English. No? The three like tamales. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Pan de muerto. I agree with you. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's plan it for this Saturday. Yeah. When is when is the 6th? Oh, the 7th um, is Saturday. So, yeah, it's on sa Saturday. On Saturday. Oh, perfect. So then we have time. Perfect time for it. <laughs> yeah. Let's plan it.
I know I will send all the the little toys to Christian. <laughs> he prefers, uh, yeah. So he prepares the tamales for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all the little toys were in Christian's piece. Sorry that he wasn't there. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, I agree. Eh? Let's plan it. I, I honestly, I really want to do it. Let's <laughs> yeah, awesome. we will write you. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Right? Thank you. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. And see you tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.